Good day, everyone. Today, I'll be discussing the trigonometric functions of angles. If theta is an acute angle of a right triangle, then the six trigonometric functions of angle theta are defined as follows. Sine theta is equal to the side opposite of theta over hypotenuse. Cos second theta is equal to 1 over sine theta, so that will be equal to hypotenuse over side opposite of theta. Next, we have the cosine theta, which is equal to the side adjacent to theta over hypotenuse. And the second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta, so that will be equal to hypotenuse over side adjacent to theta. Next, we have tangent theta, which is equal to the side opposite of theta over side adjacent to theta. And cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta, so that will be equal to side adjacent to theta over side opposite of theta. So if you guys are familiar with Sokatawa, so that is a sine over opposite of hypotenuse, for so, for ka, that will be cosine, which is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and toa, so that is tangent equal to opposite over adjacent. So just remember the sokatoa. And for cosecant, second, and cotangent, so remember that cosecant is 1 over sine, second is 1 over cosine, and cotangent is 1 over tangent. Then you just have to switch the numerators and denominators. So that's how you easily remember this six trigonometric functions. Now, I'm about to discuss the sides and angles of a right triangle. Consider the right triangle ABC. Let A, B, and C be the sides and alpha, beta, and gamma be their corresponding angles. So we would let A and B be the legs, C be the hypotenuse, alpha and beta be the acute angles, which are complementary angles as well because their sum should be equal to 90 degrees. Gamma be the right angle. The side opposite alpha is A and the side adjacent to alpha is side B. And the side opposite beta is B and the side adjacent to it is A. These are the six trigonometric functions of angle alpha. Sine alpha is equal to side opposite of alpha over hypotenuse, so that is A over C, and for cosecant, so that will be C over A. For cosine alpha, so that is side adjacent to alpha, which is side B, and over hypotenuse, which is C. So for cosine, it's B over C, and for second, it's C over B. For tangent of alpha, it's the side opposite of alpha over side adjacent to alpha. So that is A over B. And for cotangent, so that is B over A. Then the six trigonometric functions of angle beta, the side opposite of beta is side B and the hypotenuse is C. So for sine beta, it's B over C. And for cosecant, it's C over B. Then for cosine of angle beta, so that is a side adjacent to angle beta, so that is A and hypotenuse, which is C. So for cosine beta, so that is A over C. And for second, that is C over A. And lastly, for tangent, of angle beta, so that is the side opposite over the side adjacent, so that is B over A, and for cotangent, so that is A over B. And since alpha and beta are complementary angles, so sine of beta is equal to A over C, which is also equal to cosine beta. Cosecant alpha is equal to C over A, so that is also equal to second beta. Cosine alpha is equal to B over C, which is also equal to sine beta. Second alpha is equal to C over B, which is also equal to cosecant beta. And tangent of alpha is equal to A over B, which is equal to cotangent beta. And 
cotangent alpha is equal to B over A, which is equal to tangent beta. So this is just a summary of the two previous slides. Let's have an example. Even cosine theta, which is equal to negative four over five and theta terminates in quadrant three, find the values of the other five trigonometric functions. So here's the illustration of cosine theta, which is equal to negative four over five. And if we're going to recall, cosine of an angle is equal to the side adjacent to the angle over hypotenuse. So we need to say the side adjacent to theta is four and the hypotenuse is five. So for us to find the other five trigonometric functions, we have to solve first the measure of the third side. And to do that, we have to apply the Pythagorean theorem. So the side opposite to theta is equal to the square root of the square of the hypotenuse, which is 5 squared minus the square of the other leg, which is negative 4, which will give us a measure equal to 3. And now that we have the values of the measures of the three sides of this triangle, we can now find the values of the other five trigonometric functions. Given this trigonometric formulas and this triangle, and since I said earlier, theta terminates in quadrant three, therefore only tangent and cotangent functions have positive values and the rest of the functions are negative. It's because in the unit circle, in quadrant one, all functions have positive values. While well, in quadrant two, sine and cosecant are only positive. In quadrant three, the tangent and cotangent are the only positive functions. And in quadrant four, only cosecant and secant are the positive values. And with that being said, then the values of the other five trigonometric functions are as follows. For sine theta, so that is side opposite over hypotenuse, opposite of it is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5, so that would be 3 over 5 and it is negative because only tangent and cotangent are positive. So please take note of that. Then for cosecant, so that is just by interchanging the numerator and denominator of sine, so that is negative 5 thirds. For tangent, so that is positive 3 fourths, it's because it's opposite over adjacent. The side opposite to theta is 3, and the side adjacent to it is 4, so that's why we have 3 fourths. For cotangent, so that is 4 thirds, so just interchange. And for second, so that is the hypotenuse, which is 5 over the adjacent side, which is 4, and it's negative. So for second, that is negative 5 fourths. So that's how you solve for the other five trigonometric functions. And please take note of these signs. Okay, guys, try this example. Given sine theta, which is equal to negative 5 over 13, and theta terminates in quadrant 4, we should find the values of the other five trigonometric functions. Thank you guys for listening, and we hope that you learned.